Anybody in the audience want to respond to that? Any comments? I had a question, uh, if I may. It's to ask about the time frame again. I was unclear about uh, the time frame for this type of an option. Sure. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Smith and I have talked um, about this option specifically and pending weather conditions and everything else. I think we can get that done in the next 60 days. Uh, it should not be a problem uh, to do that. Again, it's under $10,000, and I think we can get it up rather quickly. Uh, Tom Ross Seal, 425 Clover Fork Drive. Uh, I'm here on behalf of some residents in Farragut View and in Stonecrest. I was contacted over the last couple of days about this, and based on the comments, the vast majority would support what uh, Alderman LaMarche has suggested this would be a good alternative. I think the residents of Farragut View and Stonecrest have similar views to what Ms. Uh, Singer had expressed, that the, there is a concern that there should be great consideration for a traffic signal at Sonia and Campbell Station. It's uh, the people in Farragut View, Stonecrest, and Woodland Trace are kind of on an island. It's uh, very difficult either to turn left onto Kingston Pike from Admiral Road or Newport Road. Uh, it's difficult to turn left from Sonia onto Campbell Station Road. So consideration should be given to those intersections. And I did read in the Farragut Press last night that one of the traffic studies was going to include Kingston Pike and Thornton Heights Drive area, Newport area. Is that correct, David? Yes, sir, that is correct. Okay, good, because that's one of the other concerns in Stonecrest. Again, uh, there have been multiple accidents at Newport and Kingston Pike. Um, it's, it is a difficult intersection, and as Ms. Singer pointed out, Many of the drivers that are coming out of uh, Stonecrest are also aging, and they do have some problem <coughs> making the turn, although the improvements that were made a couple of years ago with that deacceleration lane at the uh, corner of Newport and Kingston Pike were certainly an improvement. But again, I think based on all the input I received, I think they would res uh, certainly support what uh, Alderwoman Marsh has suggested in terms of having this raised island and not going to a, a signal at this time. Well, I think as you heard earlier, we're going to do warrants on uh, Sonia Drive um, High School and um, Campbell Lakes Road. Uh, so it yeah. is going to, the study is going to be done. Yes. One way or the other. Right. I think it's a good thing. And certainly, as I said, I wanted to make sure because the first time I think that it was mentioned, uh, there was no mention of uh, Kingston Pike and, and Newport, Thornton Heights. And again, thank you, David, for confirming that that will be done. My name's Gene Tracy. I, um, my wife was here in the summer and we presented a petition from some of the business owners down by Campbell Lakes. My, my question was in some of this process, when you do your study, obviously there's some engineering metrics that have to be met to warrant a stoplight in any location. We were hoping in, in, that part of this process would be looking at the whole road, not one section versus another section versus another section. As we look at our businesses, and there's a collection of them there, the difficulty in people coming in and out is tremendous. But we also look ahead and projecting, now you have a hotel being built, more businesses coming in across the street. We hope that in this process, it's not only today's metrics that you view, but perhaps you're looking ahead a little bit saying, wow, we've got a few things going on down here, and if we don't protect this gateway into our town, uh, meaning people are coming off the highway, people are coming into businesses, and I hope you want to encourage them to come into the town and make it easy. Um, some of this projection, I hope the town will look at also. Well, I, <laughs> hope, I hope nothing that we've said has suggested that we might put one light on Kinks on Campbell Station Road, because that's not the plan. Uh, the plan is to do what it, what is warranted. I'd, I'd like to respond to to Mr. Tracy's comments. Uh, when when that discussion took place before, it was pointed out that there are several businesses that have properties uh, that have have uh, customers turning left on the Campbell Station Road, uh, not at Campbell Lakes, but just up from it. We're well aware that those businesses are connected through there, and I know if I were at your business. Uh, and wanting to make a left turn if there were a signal at Campbell Lakes, I would drive over to Campbell Lakes through the parking lots and, and go down there to make the left turn. So we want to look at that as well. We won't look just at the, 
the intersection. We want to take account of everything. Any more comments? I have a question about the warrants. Uh, two quick questions. How long does it take, again, for a warrant to be done and completed and have a report back, and how much does it cost the town? I think if we were looking at all four of these locations together, uh, we would probably still be under the $10,000 price, and that could be done probably within a month or so after we give someone the go-ahead. Thank you, Darrell. Darrell, I have another question. Um, it has to do with um, the proper way of obtaining the warrants at the high school entrance off Campbell Station, and that is, I I'm assuming that those warrants require clocking the traffic in all directions when we do that. That's correct. Okay. so. If I remember correctly, Mr. Reynolds is on record as saying that he won't open that road until the students are protected in one way or another, which means if that road stays closed when we get our warrants, isn't it going to have a big impact on the figures that would come? Well, uh, we couldn't do a warrant analysis if the road is if the road is closed. So the road has to be open and in full use in order for us to get accurate statistics. And the other question I have is, um, would it be wise for us to go ahead with an, do we need an engineering study for this um, island construction to actually put in this right out? Not really, no. Okay, so that's not required. Then can we get the warrant data in January? Because I know you're opposed to doing it during the Christmas break for Campbell Station Road because traffic would be diminished. We can do it in January? Uh, we could probably do it toward the end of January, maybe the 1st of February, something like that. Thank you. I actually didn't say any way or another. Um, what I'm, what I'm thinking personally is I would like to see the traffic counts obtained before either an island is put in or a decision is made to signalize anywhere on Campbell Station. And then we can't get accurate, I'm concerned we can't get accurate traffic count information <coughs> at the entrance to the high school if that road is not fully open, fully operational, and fully in use. That's the catch-22 right now. If we put the island in, we'll never need the signal. But I'm not saying that I think the island is necessarily the right solution. What if the traffic counts warrant signalization and we decide that's a safer option? I think that's the chance we're going to have to take. I don't think you can say that uh, if we put the island in, we'll never need, need a light. I think you can. Sure. Not open the road. That area that you see was condemned. Uh, at the request of TDOT from the city of Farragut to put that left-hand turn lane in. Uh, that was the whole purpose, to get the lane. Also to gain access where the properties on either side could have access to that lane to encourage more development of those areas. So you actually put the left-hand lane in to encourage traffic. That is a major cut through. Uh, has been for for years in addition to the traffic uh, you said 30 minute traffic uh, I dare say if you go there we have seven o'clock classes so that traffic starts at 645 and probably runs to 830 that's significantly more than 30 minutes same thing can be said in the afternoon if you want to go up there now uh, at this point in time there's a band concert going on, a wrestling match, uh, improv, 
uh, and we're talking about uh, traffic up until 10 o'clock at night. So we're not just talking about an isolated event. And what you would be asking me to open that up to see if there's a risk. That's a risk I'm not willing to take. Uh, I cannot say, you know, that would be like you asking your child to walk out there on thin ice and if it breaks, hey, we shouldn't have gone out there. Well, I cannot take that risk with 5,000 students' lives because it's not just the 1,800 at my high school. It's the rest of the students. And that is a major thoroughfare during the day, during the night. Uh, and you say 180 days, uh, I dare say it's more than that. You look at all the events that happen in the summer, you look at all the things, and even uh, it has been used by the city of Farragut for parking for events. Uh, so it's much more than 180, but the significant lies with the turning of the left. <laughs> and unless that is decreased, I cannot in good conscience open that road up. I certainly entertain questions. I'm Michael Reynolds. I'm the principal at Bar I'm Michael Reynolds. I'm the principal at Farragut High School. And also, uh, a point to add too, there's, uh, we've been contacted by parents whose students want to walk to school. There's not a crossing path within the caution lights. At, and so the only red light is at the library and there's no caution lights there for children to cross. So the kids can no longer walk to school. Uh, those that are within a mile, less than a mile radius have to provide transportation or walk. Wait, there are people watching on TV. You have to come down here and speak into the microphone. Brad Warren, I live in Woodland Trace. Um, the, the, the crossworks too, we, we see uh, a lot of kids come up and over and down Sonia as well. So if there was a light at Sonia, that might address the crosswalk thing. That was something I was concerned about too, because you see a lot of kids come down um, up, th you know, up there and then across. Um, so that's my thought. How do you feel about the, the island? Do you think that solves your problem? Not being able to do a proper study until you open the road. Do you think there's a solution? I think we're all opposed to putting kids at risk. There. 